Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and this week we'll continue our series on audio basics by covering everything you'd ever need to know about stereo tracks. Stereo tracks are a new feature of Media Composer 5 and later. And uh, adding a stereo track to a sequence is actually quite simple. You just go to Clip, New Audio Track Stereo or press the keyboard shortcut and it will add a new stereo track to a sequence. Now how do we get stuff into that track? Now that's where it becomes a little tricky. So let's say we we'll just want to import a piece of music. We've set up all our audio import settings right and just drag and drop it into a bin. And it creates uh, the media. And there we go, our music musical track is now a master clip. Now if we open that master clip, we can play it, it's all very nice. Beautiful music, and uh, this will probably get me sued. Uh, but <laughs> if you look here, in the track panels, you can see this is not a stereo master clip, but it is two mono master clips, and they're actually panned to the middle, because Evit's default panning is now centered if you don't change that in the audio settings. So what we'd have now is uh, a stereo track that is playing as two mono tracks that are centered, so you'd lose all everything that is uh, stereo about it. Now what you could of course do is pan the mono clips individually, so they're now they're left and right, and now if we play it, It's all nice and stereo, and we could edit that into our sequence just the way we used to do it in uh, previous releases of Media Composer. And it works generally pretty well. Now the next thing you need to do is once you have edited these two mono clips basically into the timeline, yeah, there's no real easy way to make it a stereo clip. You can't just right click and say make this a stereo clip uh, in the timeline. It just doesn't work that way. The only thing you could do is just mark it and do an audio mix down by going to special audio mix down and do a stereo mix down on say track five. Now it has created a stereo track that is uh, an audio mix down. But of course that doesn't reference to back to the original media and uh, you know it, it's, it's just a, a pretty clunky way to do it. So the thing to do is just get rid of all of that and make the actual master clip a stereo clip instead of two mono clips. Well, that's pretty easy to do. Just right click and hit modify. Set multi channel audio and just click that little gang symbol under audio one and two and hit OK. And you can immediately see here in the source track panel that our audio clip has now become a stereo master clip which we can now edit into a stereo track in the timeline. Awesome and pretty easy to do. You can of course select multiple clips in your bin, hit modify, make them link, and it will link all of the clips at the same time. So you don't need to do it one by one, which would probably drive you crazy. Now the funny thing is, while you can't right click to mono clips and make them stereo, you can do it the other way around. You can split all tracks to mono. And this will immediately split all the tracks in your sequence to mono, which I guess has something to do with backwards compatibility, because you know, older versions of Media Composer probably wouldn't be able to uh, open sequences with stereo tracks or they would say what the hell's that i had no idea what that stereo thing is so you can split them back to mono 
Also note, and don't be fooled by uh, the panning here, it is centered, which makes an awful lot of sense. Uh, because uh, in a stereo track, the panning is, of course, changing the stereo panorama. And if you want to leave it the way it was intended, so leave the stereo panorama the way it was, you leave it to mid. If you want to make it more left-leaning, you can uh, pan it left or right or anything you'd like. One last thing, another way to get stereo tracks, if you import from tape or capture from tape <laughs> as it was called back in the days uh, you can of course also link tracks here and get uh, stereo master clips immediately while capturing which is you know to be expected <laughs> actually <laughs> in all other respects stereo clips behave exactly like mono clips except that they're surprise stereo and of course, uh, if you go into sample plot, you now have two little waveforms here that you can check out instead of just one. So that's basically everything you need to know about stereo clips. Surprisingly, it's not very much. <laughs> uh, and we'll get into the nitty gritty of audio editing next week. Until then, be sure to check out the website at avidscreencast.com where you can subscribe and if you want to show some love for the screencast and you want to buy anything from Amazon, it doesn't have to be anything specific. You can also buy a TV or a refrigerator or something very, very expensive from Amazon. <laughs> but it could also be a book. Uh, if you remember, you could just click the link here. It will redirect you to the Amazon homepage. And if you anything you buy after that, I'll get a nice kickback and that will make me filthy rich and I will go to Hawaii and never do a podcast again. Now that wasn't a very good incentive, I guess, unless you don't like the podcast, which would make you weird for watching it. Um, <laughs> if you have any comments or suggestions, like stop talking to me about Amazon, uh, go ahead and uh, send me an email to mail at davidscreencast.com or just comment on the website. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. If you'd like to know what kinds of things I do in my day job, check out editguy.de, where I promote myself a bit. Oh, one last thing. I now have a table of contents on the website, so it's easier to find stuff, <laughs> which uh, wasn't easy before it's uh, broken down uh, by a category so i hope um, this makes sense for you if it doesn't just uh, comment or just uh, send me an email or anything uh, if, if this is a stupid uh, you know way to do it but i, I think it's it makes sense so all right again thanks for watching see you next week goodbye <laughs>